Reality is a story the mind tells itself. An artificial structure conjured into being by the calcium ion exchange of a million synaptic firings. A truth so strange it can only be lied into existence. And our minds can lie. Never doubt it. Alright, so you people have probably been wondering where I've been for the past week. Well, um, you know that thing in my head that's supposed to record everything I see? Well, it broke after I realized that I was a girl. Apparently, the thing short-circuited because of my overstimulated emotions, and it couldn't handle it and exploded. Don't ask how that makes any sense. I don't know either. All I know is that I'm just now putting the finishing touches on fixing it. Should be on just about now. Yep, there we go. And we can see. Alright, so Hunter here when the Aperture Science Testing Center and I am a girl. Why? Well, um... According to this clipboard here, which I don't know why it isn't even here, uh, according to it, my memory data was swapped because apparently my old body got, well, rotten and dried out, and well, now I'm this person whose name is Shell, so I'm just gonna have to assume that whoever calls me Shell is, well, somebody who Shell knows. Yeah, and my god, this place looks run down. Jeez. Where's all this plant life coming from? Seriously. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. Well, that's a good thing to know. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. So. The cube being put on a button can cause an entire station to go down. Oh god! No. No, 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 no. Uh, oh, door. Right. And, of course, the cube isn't what caused it. There was something Please else. Please the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture size material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Wait, what? Considered authorized. I mean, like, oh, well, the, the cube for one. But... What about the notepads and pens? Do those count as unauthorized materials? I mean, I sure hope they don't if count as unauthorized. If you running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. Huh? You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. You know what's great? Being mute and deaf. I sure hope to God that is not the case. Oh. Test chamber one. That's different because I do not believe this is what it looked like before. It oh, right portal. Um, so I'm taking a wild guess that pushing this button activates it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh well, that's this is much easier than what I had to do before. By which I mean not me, but her me taking over her mind and somehow controlling her, I... Oh, Jesus. I did all this? Indirectly, I mean? Really? I mean, I know that blowing up her would be a bad thing, but this is ridiculous. Like, seriously ridiculous. Just... Good. Wow. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. That Before the entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Wait. When society has been rebuilt? Well, considering the, uh, the shininess of your elevators, I consider society rather rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Uh. 
So, there might be an animal king? That isn't welcoming. And why do my teeth feel weird all of a sudden? Ah, it can't be anything all that bad. Hey, you made it! Hurrah, right, it's you! Again. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. Uh, there's nothing can't there. can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? Well, can't see the harm in that. It's alright, no, go on, just have a look about it. Yeah, I can't see any harm, should logically be- Oh my god! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, Jesus! Hello? What? Can you see the portal gun? No. Also, are you alive? That's important, should've asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Alright? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. God, his logic is more broken than the research team at Black Mesa. It... Hmm? Follow. Th oh, well... Well, there's the portal gun! Yeah. Well, that was easy enough, and... What? What, what is this? <laughs> 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 All right. I don't know my ultimate purpose in being here. Know why I'm in this body. But I do know what I must do, and where I must go. And that is to get out of this room. Now, let's see, how does this thing work? Do I just pull this thing in and that shoots up? Oh, that is how it works. Well, that could take some time getting used to. <laughs> All right, that was weird though. What, what exactly was that? My head just like had a seizure or something. I mean, what? What were those people? Those voices, those characters. And what is that? Is that an alien of a portal? I never saw that before. Must be new. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Oh boy. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. Oh, that's good. Oh, lovely. So you mean if one of them breaks it, they all break it. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. So, let me get this straight. If a robot tries to kill me, the only option I have is to complain about it. You know, if I was in that position, I would logically think about doing something more than just complaining about a robot trying to kill me. I would call some sort of authority. Though, considering the state that we're in, I doubt any such person exists. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed smooth jazz. in three, two, one. Hey, I was listening to that. It was about to get good. God damn this broken down equipment. Man. Whatever I... Jeez, man. Whatever hat... Like... Look at the condition. I know I said it before, but seriously... Time does not do justice to this place at all. I mean, broken down walls, pre-recorded messages, plants growing from unknown sources... It's a catastrophe. Or possibly an apocalypse, as previously mentioned. I'm more inclined to believe the latter. Alright. Oh, this one. Oh, I know how this goes. We shoot- wait, no. No, 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 no. That's not how you do it. We gotta go down here. And then we grab the cube. See, grab- grab the cube- grab the cube- grab- thank you. Jeez. Still trying to get used with this body. And it, Okay, well, there's momentum. That's not what we want. What we want is to get the cube. There we go. And we put on the switch, and ta-da! Because this message is pre-recorded, 
Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. So... I'm not being compl- OH GOD! Ah! Well, a shard of glass just caught into my arm. Not quite nothing too bad. See? It- it just healed itself right up. Right? Right there. Right. Huh? What's this? It, uh, is that Schrodinger's cat? I think I'm gonna walk away now. Very far away. Oh, okay, well, that was interesting. Oh, I'm sure that the art looks rather familiar. Was that done by the same person who drew whatever was on the walls where I found the portal gun? You know? I think I've gone completely insane. I think I have snapped mentally. Now, if someone could give me some super glue and a piece of duct tape, I can try and salvage whatever I have left of my sanity. God.